All right, Bill and I are gonna do the position where if we're in this close and he grabs, he just grabs my collar here from this position. But he's not gonna cross grab in this scenario, it's gonna be the same side. I gotta worry about if it's a street fight, if he's gonna punch, so you gotta kind of react quickly. Sometimes I'll bring both hands up at the same time, and that kind of protects this side. But I'm either grabbing their, their sleeve or their jacket, or I'm trying to grab their wrist as much as I can. If I go over, then all he's gonna do is just let go of, the, let go of this and pull it down, and it comes down. If I have it here and he let go, typically he's gonna pull it down, go ahead and let go and push down, and I still have control of it, so it's buying me a few seconds there. So I basically go both hands up, this hand here, pretend you're bowling with it. So you bowl underhand, but I'm gonna step at the same time. So it's my uh, left hand in this case with my left foot, and I'm gonna step away. I wanna make sure there's enough space between this foot and his foot, because what I'm gonna do on the second movement is work it through. This elbow should be into my body, so if he pushes his elbow down to choke me, I have pressure here. If I have the elbow out, he pushes down, he can come around and choke me a lot easier. So, step back a little bit, he grabs, movement one, you can either be here or here on the arm, movement two is bowl, palm up, elbows tucked in, movement three is the furthest foot away is going to step through, and then I'm going to bend his knee a little bit, and then I'm going to duck my head under last, and I'm going to put it in the position here. He may not go on knees, he may be standing up, go ahead and stand up, so I may just have this type of C-lock and I can cross my hand over control it here and you have throws and all kinds of stuff from there. When I do the other side, he grabs, it's gonna be the same side that comes up in steps. The furthest hand and the furthest feet, there we're gonna go bowling. My elbow is not here, my elbow is tucked into my body. I have enough space between his foot and my foot that steps, so the back foot can step behind. And then if I bend the knee, he bends a little bit, that gives me air, air space to get the head under. Once I'm here, I can take the opposite hand and pull him in here. So this is kind of where you're gonna finish. It's in the shape of a C, so it's a back C lock, and I can throw him down from there. One more time, grab one side. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, 